Good afternoon. I am Debbie Hughes with Catoosa County Chamber of Commerce, and we're excited today. We've got some visitors here with us, and we've got a lot of events coming up in December that we are looking forward to. Either the Chamber is hosting or some of our members are hosting. So it will be really exciting to see what we you know, have in our community and it's ways that we can help our nonprofits and ways that we can help member to member by spending our money in Catoosa County. So with that, I'm going to introduce, I've got Caitlin here from Catoosa County Parks and Rec, and I got Kim here from Catoosa County Parks and Rec. And they're gonna tell you a little bit about this coming weekend and some other events that maybe you don't know about or would like to know about and get your children involved in uh, through the uh, Parks and Rec. So I'm gonna kinda turn right. it to you. <laughs> well, thank you for having us. It's always exciting and uh, it's something we love to do is talk more about Parks and Recreation for Catoosa County. Uh, we do have, we're at that time of the year where we're starting to slow down, but uh, we're still very busy. We just finished forming our basketball teams and our basketball games will start next week. While we're moving everything inside, we are starting to prepare for our spring season. So uh, you might have missed our basketball registration, but don't worry, we'll have another registration come open for spring sports, which includes um, baseball, softball soccer and volleyball uh, and anything else we can come up with in between then but the registration will open January 1st and you can always go visit our website at www.catoosarec.com and you can find out about all of our um, sports that we have all of our programs and events um, it's in the facilities that we have to offer so we always like to promote the parks that we have in the county too. And on that website, you can see all the po pocket parks that we have throughout the county. And you know, since the holiday season is starting to come and uh, I guess you're gonna have family maybe coming to town, go visit those parks, go enjoy um, the additions we've made, the changes we've made, and just um, you know all the things that we have to offer. So we highly encourage that. While uh, Sports or basketball is in the middle and just beginning. Uh, we do have events that you can participate in. And um, I've got Kim Sawyer who uh, does all the, the behind the scenes work for our programs and events. So I'm gonna let her take it away from here. So uh, the next upcoming event we have is gonna be a Christmas event. It's gonna be called Santa in the Park. And we're hoping everybody will come out this Saturday. It's going to be from 10 until 2 at Jack Maddox Park. Santa is going to be there. Uh, he won't be sitting in his normal chair or anything like that, but we'll have a setup where you can get selfie pictures with Santa. So be sure you bring your, can uh, your camera to get your kids in those pictures. You know, you want to drop by even with your pet and get a picture with your pet with Santa. You can do that also. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of things planned. We have food vendors, craft vendors that will be there. Uh, we'll have ornament making for the kids. We'll have a candy cane hunt for the kids. Ooh, and right. so there's just gonna be a lot of things. Uh, you can, they can write letters to Santa. And so there's just gonna be a lot of fun for the kids that day. It is all going to be free, all the activities for the kids. Uh, you will need to be bring money if you want to, uh, to buy food or if you want to buy anything from your crafters. I know um, we have a lot of good crafters coming and you might even want to buy some Christmas presents yeah. while you're there. Uh, but we also have some great food vendors that are gonna be there. Uh, so come and eat lunch and enjoy the day out at the park. The uh, I love to talk about the candy cane hunt. People will never know what to expect with the candy cane hunt, no, but it it's like fun. Oh, it is. It's somewhat like an Easter egg hunt, but it's it's we put out how many candy canes do you think we put out? Thousands, maybe. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of candy canes. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we do it out in an outfield. We put them out, and then the kids start on the fence, and we say go. And so, however many uh, candy canes everybody can collect, we count at the end, and then we have a prize for them. So it's just a great way if if y'all haven't gotten in touch with Santa just yet come write a letter to Santa let him know what you want for Christmas and then um, just enjoy the day outside hopefully you'll be beautiful like last year and uh, come collect some candy canes see who our winners will be this year mm. well who are some of the food vendors uh, we're going to have a barbecue vendor uh, soul Q, I believe mm -hmm. and uh, there is an American food vendor can't remember his exact name, but he I have tasted his burgers and fries. They are delicious. Okay. Uh, we will have a Mexican 
style food there, uh, quesadilla type food. Uh -huh. uh, we will have someone selling uh, choo choo kettle corn will be there, so oh, come get okay. your choo choo kettle corn. <laughs> Always got to have the kettle yep. corn. And they, uh, you can make you know, bags and give them as gifts. That's right. It's yeah. a great thing to, mm -hmm. to purchase as gifts. Uh, we will also have a coffee truck there so people can get their coffees. Uh, Kona Ice will also be there. if it's. T but the thing people don't know about Kona is they have the greatest hot chocolate. Mm. It is delicious. So they will be probably ser be serving both. And their hot chocolate is probably as good as their cold drinks. I'm telling you, they're really good. Uh, well, I have tasted their cold drinks, and they are wonderful. I've tasted different, you know, uh, flavors, so they're all good. And she's going to be one of our vendors, too, at the Expo oh, on the no. Sabbath. Nice. She stays yeah. busy. She's great. Yeah. Um, but we highly encourage everybody to come out and check out what we have. It's at Jack Maddox Park. That is off of Pine Grove Road. Uh, the event starts at 10 o'clock. It'll go until 2. Yes. And Santa will mm -hmm. be there the whole time. So. so it's your perfect time to get to see Santa and let them know what you want. So come see us. And then our craft vendors would love to see you guys as well. Yeah. Well, I have a question for you. I walk at Jack Maddox and I see y'all are doing some repairs yes, out there. Yes, I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> uh, we're really proud about it. Um, you know, our, the pond over there has been... Um, has learned has really collected some algae and just gotten pretty gross in the past years and this year um, the county really decided to invest to really do some some renovations modifications and so if you t get a chance to go out there with beautiful river rock that's been been put out there and the water is clear so you can see actually see all the wildlife that's actually in the pond it's been there before uh, but now it's clear water and you know we never realized how many turtles were out there how and snakes are out there we'll give you a heads up about that but uh, the pond has been such a great and beautiful beautiful uh, addition to make to our park and mm -hmm. so when you're out there go you know try out our new bridge that we that we did and um, take a look at the pond because it's something that we're very proud of well one of the things too uh, I know that you have disc golf out there yes Yes, so I'll actually let Kim talk about disc golf. She she uh, works hand in hand with the people who put on our disc golf tournaments. Yes. So we do do some disc golf tournaments ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, but we have a, a large group of people that just come out. It is a free course. It's okay. open seven days a week, so people can just bring their own disc and come out and play anytime really they want. Uh, we do have a gentleman that comes out and helps us a lot with a lot of things. He does some doubles on Saturday, so if people want to do a little bit of competition but aren't ready for the tournaments yet, they can come out and play it with him at noon on Saturdays. They're also also going to be lighting up the baskets uh, at night on Wednesday uh, nights for uh, glow golf, uh, and they can come and play for free, or they can do a little friendly competition league that they're going to run on Wednesday nights. Uh, so it is only a nine-hole course, but they can just play through it twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got a lot of people that really enjoy being out there. It's Jack Maddox Disc Golf Course is known, and correct me if I'm wrong, known for being more of a beginner course. So for those of you that are interested, want to know a little bit more about disc golf, it's the perfect place to try that out. And it's at Jack Maddox Park, the, the same park that's off Pine Grove Road. So you have ball, you have walk and track, mm -hmm. you have disc golf. Anything else out there that I don't know about? Picnic tables? There's a few yeah, picnic tables. Yeah, you know, we have our, our playground um, mm -hmm. that's out there, and that really accommodates all ages, mm -hmm. I would think. And then um, the batting cages are highly used throughout the whole year. So while we do shut down our ballparks about this time, um, our batting cages are still utilized through it. And you're working on the soccer fields? Uh, so we completed the Boynton Park uh, renovations. And so we uh, did a couple changes to the front five fields, still kept in the same. It's just we did infield repairs, new fencing. Uh, we built, we I say we, you know, the all county. Uh, the <laughs> county. And I want to say a big thank you to the public, public works, Cajusa County Public Works, because they did so much work. And they put up with us on all of our requests. Um, um, and they did a great job. So they built a new concession and umpire room. And then in the backfield, it's more of a multi-purpose field. And it's been open to where we'll have football practices and soccer practices. And then um, another renovation that we're close to finishing is Poplar Springs. And we're very excited about that. The county has decided to take on a, a very overwhelming project. Uh, it's it's been it's being completed through 2019's BOSS funds, but it's going to be such a great addition to make to um, the I guess the Ringgold area because a lot of our parks are not 
towards that way. And so it's just upgrading ball fields and uh, a new concessions area. It's looking good. Out. Thank you. Uh, anything else going on, ladies? Whew. I oh. think that's it. If, just to let people know if they're not familiar with Jack Maddox Park, it's at 941 Pine Grove Road. So if they need the address to get there and they haven't ever mm -hmm. been there before, because I know everybody isn't into sports or haven't been to the ball fields yeah. so, or the parks. So if they need to come play disc golf or walk, it's off of Pine Grove Road. What about, you want to tell you, say anything about our archery programs? And um, well, we've got a lot of, a lot of the programs we're doing right now are filled up for this mm -hmm. month. Uh, but we will have a whole new slate of programs coming open in January. Um, That'll be archery, nature classes, pre-K classes, art classes, and so those will all be coming up open on the website within the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're also trying to start something that's kind of new called eSports, and a lot of that registration is open right now. So uh, they'll be registering for January play, uh, late January play. So that's okay. kind of where it's... Um, if you've never heard of eSports, it's kind of like that. online I gaming. Saw, I saw something yeah. and I was like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's online gaming, okay. and, uh, but it's, moder it's, it's monitored and uh, we're working with the company and we feel really good about it. And so if kids mm -hmm. are going to play, we want to give them a safe place to play. Yeah. Yeah. So we're excited about it. Hope yeah. more people yeah. check it out. It's a very fun opportunity. Um, and if you need more information, again, that's on our website and it can take yeah. you to uh, all of our eSports. Right. Yeah. So if you have any questions, be sure that you look up the Catoosa County Recreation Department. Uh, is that, am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, go out and, you know, visit some of these um, parks. You may not have ever been there, but, you know, it might be a little bit of fun that you didn't know you could have. So, yes. uh, but anyway, on from that, we're going to talk about some different things that are going on at the chambers and things that you know uh, you may not know about in you know in the county events coming up um, so don't forget santa in the park is this weekend and uh, we will you know be out there to support them any way that we can and hope that you will go out and support them and bring your children and let them see Santa and hunt for some candy canes. What time now is that, Glee, is the candy cane? It comes there'll, there'll be a morning sessions. hunt at 11 o'clock for eight, for all ages, and then uh, there'll be three different, they're divided into three different age groups, but at okay. 11 o'clock we do one, and then we do another one in the afternoon at one o'clock. Okay. So they don't have to be there all day to hunt, um, but that way we kind of spread it out for them. Yeah. So. Yeah, we got to give the little ones a chance to find them. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So we've, we've, divided the age, we've divided the age groups so that they're not all fighting over the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else, ladies, before... No, just, we get to start talking about all the chamber events we got going. <laughs> no, just thank you for having us. Well, and, thank you. And we hope, uh, we'll hope you guys will visit a park soon and, uh, you know, let us know your feedback. The only time we know uh, re renovations to make or things that are needed at parks is when we hear from you guys. So we just hope to see you at the events and at our parks. Okay. Thank you. Uh, while they're getting up and leaving, I'm going to talk about... Uh, the big thing coming up with the Chamber is the Business Expo. Uh, this will be December the 7th from 10 to 2. Uh, it will be at the Colonnade at 264 Catoosa Circle and uh, in Ringgold. So if you've never been to the Colonnade, it's a beautiful facility uh, that the county owns there. And it's on the camp Benton campus with a lot of other, uh, your uh, library, your uh, health department, your senior citizen uh, facility. This is just a great place to go and um, find out a lot of information. Uh, we have a visitor center within the chamber, so you can always stop by and pick up brochures on businesses that are in Catoosa County or other cities, or even your local uh, tourism, but um, is located inside the Catoosa County Chamber of Commerce. So go to, come out to Benton Place. But this is free parking, free admittance, December the 7th, Showcase Catoosa Expo. One of the things that we will be doing is um, a silent auction. Uh, most of the gifts 
uh, will either be baskets or gift cards or, you know, uh, items that you would want to purchase maybe for the, someone for the holidays. Uh, we'll have probably about 70 to 80 of those setting out for you to bid on. And, uh, you know, most of the time uh, they go for less than the value is. So that's what makes it exciting. The other thing that um, will be going on during that day will be um, we will have a sponsor for lunch. Uh, we've got hot dogs. So uh, probably from around 11.30 to 1, somewhere in there, we will be serving hot dogs till they run out. And this is sponsored by Providence and Associates. The River City Shred Truck is coming. It is a shredding event. Uh, Flegel Insurance is the sponsor for that. Uh, they will probably be on our location at the Colonnade for about four hours. What they're asking is each vehicle bring one box to be spreaded during that time. Uh, this is a great opportunity to get rid of some documents you've been wanting to get rid of and just didn't know how. Uh, but again, River City Shredding will have a shredding event sponsored by Flegel Insurance. But our major sponsors, I want to talk a little bit about them. These are people that are putting back in to help us promote this event, to uh, be able to give everything. Uh, so again, uh, City of Fort Overthorpe, NHC Fort Overthorpe, and Court South and Puckett EMS all will be uh, on site. Uh, and they will also be our major sponsors. So if you see one of these people in person, thank them for helping us do the Showcase Catusa Expo. Um, some of the vendors will be you'll be able to shop from. Some of the vendors you'll receive services from. Uh, we have health care. We have um, Four of the local hospitals will be represented represented at the event. Um, CHI Memorial, Park Ridge, Erlanger Memorial, uh, I already mentioned that one, and Hamilton uh, Medical um, will all be there at the event. So that's your four major medical hospitals. So. You may be able to meet someone there that you could ask a question or maybe some of them will be doing blood pressure or passing out information that you may have questions about, diabetes, um, maybe COVID, whatever, but you will be able to get information from these uh, vendor booths. Another thing is we have assisted living. We have uh, several of those that are participating. Um, NHC is one of our major sponsors, but Pruitt Healthcare is also sponsoring our registration desk. So you'll be able to register there and um, give your email and who knows what we may be giving away that day. Um, this has been a big event for us. It's one of our larger fundraisers for the Expo. The Expo is one of our larger and we've had eight to nine hundred people in 2019. Last year we weren't able to have it because of COVID, but we will be able to have at least 83 vendors inside this year. So we've got a few spots left and we're hoping that we have, you know, uh, a large crowd come out. That's what we're anticipating. That's what we're hoping for. Uh, you'll be able to go through each um, vendor will have, you know, promotional items or cards or whatever that you can pick up at your uh, loc uh, at their table. Uh, another good thing that we're doing at this one would be uh, the uh, mascots, where you can come in and uh, get your picture made. 
Uh, not sure which ones were we've uh, confirmed yet, but I know there's several. Uh, the fire department is bringing their mascot, and several others uh, are, are we are anticipating will bring their mascots. We have Kona Ice coming that will be in the parking lots. They will be selling hot chocolate. Uh, we have um, the uh, customized baskets by Bobby Waters. She will bring her baskets, and if you don't see something there uh, that you want to buy, she will customize for you and have it ready by Christmas. Um, we have Dwell, which is a new store that has opened in Ringo. She will have her a decor. Uh, there and you'll be able to purchase or she'll be able to direct you to her store where you can purchase door uh, I said door prices uh, uh, gifts for uh, Christmas the other thing we're looking at is um, having you know registration so that you can be eligible for a, you know some door prizes um, that will be given out uh, either by the vendors or a major maybe door prize by us uh, in the past we've you know had to make a few changes from the past to this so it's a little bit different but it'll all be fun free admission shop local uh, business displays, service exhibits, uh, we've got health cares, we've got insurance, we've got um, realtors, mortgage companies, um, any anything that, you know, uh, exterminators. We've got uh, a new um, member, Chattanooga Floor Care, that'll get in there and tell you about your concrete. Uh, We've got professional uh, people that um, for um, traveling, just a lot of different uh, options for you. Uh, before you know it, the day will be gone and we'll be closing down. And so try to get there early and enjoy yourself and enjoy lunch. But I want to talk about a few other things that we have going on uh, with the chamber. One of them being that we do have the women's networking coming up on Wednesday and we're about to close out the reservations for that because um, we have about reached our max on that it's the largest one that we've ever had and we're excited about it uh, it will be at Gateway Business Center on Wednesday December the 1st so today would be the last day that you could possibly register. So please get your reservations in if you have not done that. The other thing is um, we're going to do a ugly sweater contest. So get your ugly Christmas sweaters out and join us and make your reservations today and call us here at the chamber, um, 965 706-965-5201. Again, 706-965-5201. If you have not made your reservations, please do so. Um, we would uh, need to get those in today, if possible. Um, each week, we choose a member of the week. And I would like to say this week, our member of the week is Jason Rogers, American National Insurance. And um, his number is 706-519-2680. He is located in the Remco Center. Just a wonderful, uh, nice gentleman that would be happy to help you with your insurance needs. So give him a call, 706 519-2680 and our restaurant of the month is um, Park Place Restaurant and uh, they've been around a very long time they're at the edge of the park on Lafayette Road 
Um, they are our restaurant of the month. We choose a restaurant of the month, the tourism of the month, and a nonprofit. So if you haven't uh, visited the restaurant, please do so. He is on Lafayette Road right before you get to the park. The other thing, uh, considering nonprofits, <coughs> excuse me, Catoosa County uh, Division of Family and Children's Services is our nonprofit for the month of November. Um, so if they need a helper, be a Secret Santa helper, help them out, make a donation by sending to the Catoosa County Division of Family and Children's Services at 700 City Hall Drive. Again, they are the nonprofit for the month and they can use your help. Sorry about that, I'm losing my voice. Tourism Partner of the Month is Battlefield Escape in Fort Overthorpe. So it's a, if you haven't tried one of the escape rooms, this would be a great place to do that. Um, we um, have just signed them up to be a chamber member and we're excited that they have decided to move to Fort Overthorpe and be part of it. So thank you. I need a little water there. But Tourism Partner of the Month is Battlefield Escapes in Fort Overthorpe. So go book you an escape experience, and they have different rooms, and you can have a group, corporate party. They'd be great for a Christmas corporate party. Um, and then uh, they'll be happy to... Um, they're open uh, Monday through Thursday by appointment only. Fridays from 11 till 10.30. And Saturdays and Sundays, 10, till, uh, 10 a.m. to 10.30 p.m. Again, that's 706-956-8518 Battlefield Escapes. And they are our tourism partner of the month. Uh, and speaking of partners, uh, we have, you know, different levels within the chamber that you can join if that is something you're interested in or if you're looking to find out about, a, you know, how a nonprofit can become a member, we have a different opportunity for you. Uh, so give us a call at the chamber about that. A uh, few other things that are going on in the county. There will be a Christmas parade on um, December the 3rd in Ringgold. Uh, it starts at 6 o'clock. Uh, they're having other events that uh, day at the uh, depot and they're having an expo and expo the next day at the depot which is the third and the fourth but the Christmas parade starts at six o'clock and it goes down Nashville Street in downtown Ringo uh, Pam's catering is uh, getting ready for the holidays so if you need some catering done that would be a, a great uh, place to get your catering done uh, we talked about you know different events and stuff going on in the community dancing with the stars for 2022 is coming back that is saturday january the 22nd that's primary health care that would be a great opportunity if you enjoy dancing and supporting um, the dancers uh, by buying a ticket to the event or buying a ta corporate table. And that again is primary health care. Um, we have, you know, a lot of local uh, businesses that during the holidays, they are busy either, you know, helping or putting you know uh, things out 
that will help the community. So one of the things that, you know, as being a chamber member, uh, we help you promote those events. And um, we enjoy being a part of them and participating and um, know that, you know, we want to be active in the community and we want to be a part of everything that is going on in the community, you know, and we look forward to all of those events. Um, on December the 15th, we're having a breakfast at the Ringgold Depot. It is a chamber breakfast, but what we will do is promote Ringgold Downtown Shop, and we've done this a couple of years. We did it a little bit different last year than in 2019, but we're going back to the Ringgold Depot on uh, December the 15th. We will have a breakfast, and we will promote downtown Ringo shopping, local shopping, helping our small businesses. Um, on the um, 13th, if you're an ambassador, we have an ambassadors group through the chamber. We'll be doing a luncheon and appreciation for all they do. Our ambassadors go out to ribbon cuttings. They go for, uh, take out new member bags. They also bring in, in new leads a lot of times to me uh, as being as the membership coordinator. They bring in the leads that help me promote, you know, businesses um, and find out about businesses that are coming into the community. Um, they're great, and most of the ambassadors will tell you they get a lot of businesses or a lot of a business from being an ambassador. Uh, by networking and finding out and going to ribbon cuttings, meeting new owners. Uh, they're on the front end of a lot of times they find out about events before the events are posted to our other chamber members. So that's a great bunch of uh, people. Uh, we really enjoy working with them and uh, they are the backbone of our volunteers. Uh, uh, you know, that group really is a core group that really works hard for the chamber. Um, we have participated in the past in um, the Ringgold um, Parade, and I was just gonna say that, you know, if you wanna participate, I would suggest that you call um, Ringo City Hall and speak with someone down there if you want to get your group into the uh, Christmas parade because it, it is going to be fun and exciting and I think the weather is really supposed to be good if I was looking at that correctly. Um, but part of, being part of the chamber allows our members to find out each week we put out a newsletter and each week it allows our members to know what's going on in the community so especially this time of year for our nonprofits we are able to promote whether they're doing a toy drive or a pajama drive or they have foster kids that they need sponsors for or they need food uh, these are all things that we're able to promote uh, our members through our newsletter, through our Facebook, social media, and we're happy to put that out there. And then the community can help too by us putting it on Facebook. A lot of people find out about things that are going on and then they call the chamber and ask how they can help or, you know, where's this gonna be or, or different questions that they have. This is a great opportunity for nonprofits to promote themselves and get help from other businesses and the community. Um, but uh, one of the things um, that we have found that we get from the chamber a lot of times is we get, by promoting them and being involved with them, we're able to give back much more 
to them than we ever thought we would be able to. You know, it's 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 just a blessing to see how everyone gets involved with each other through the chamber. And we've had members that have told us, you know, I you know was able to raise or certain people contacted me because of you and were able to help us out. Uh, again, a lot going on at the chamber. This Wednesday is our women's networking. Our expo is next Tuesday. Uh, we want the public to come out, see our vendors. Um, you know, there may be something that you didn't even know was in the Catoosa County area. Um, we have, you know, uh, Better Business Bureau. Um, we have T-Mobile will be set up. Redstone Estates, I don't know if uh, this is a new uh, concept that has been, it's not here in Catus County, but it's across in Chattanooga, and they're very active in the chamber. Um, it's a great place to, if you're downsizing and want the security of being in a home, but yet, or having an apartment and, and not, you know, feel like that you cramped your lifestyle, it's a great place. They have a chef and uh, wonderful food and just a lot of activities going on out there. But um, we, you know, um, we have insurance companies. We have a variety of insurance companies. As I told you, Flegel Insurance uh, is sponsoring our shred truck, River City Shred. Um, and they will be, like I said, on site for approximately four hours. So load up that box up, bring it over there, and let them straight it for you. You know, it's not every week or every month what we get the opportunity to get our uh, documents shredded. And uh, we've got, you know, a little bit of no burn. I mean, right now, uh, they were cautioning us this morning on the news about burning. So this would be the, a better way to take care of those documents. Uh, we've got a dentist uh, coming to the um, uh, Expo, we've got eye care, we've got chiropractor. I mean, we all need those at some point in our life. Uh, you, we're either going to need the eye doctor, or we're going to need the dentist, or we're going to need a chiropractor. And those are just, you know, things, and these are members of our chamber that are very active and help us each day, you know, to make it a better place to live here in Catoosa County. Um, we're going to be doing a ribbon cutting on Monday with nail art. Uh, that is located at 106 Battlefield Station, Fort Overthorpe. Again, uh, nail art, 106 Battlefield Station. That will happen at 10 o'clock on Monday. So if you can make it out there, that is December the 6th. At 10 a.m., we'll be doing a ribbon cutting for them. Um, and, you know, anytime that you see anything that we're doing, feel free to attend if you would like and find out more about a local business. Um, we do, you know, ribbon cuttings, groundbreakings, and this will, you know, keep you informed about what's going on in our area. Um, I believe I told you about the um, breakfast. Mark your calendars for that if you're a chamber member or if you're not. If you want to visit and become part of it, it is Wednesday, December the 15th from 8.30 to 10 o'clock at the Ringo Depot. It's $17 per person, and it would be a great way to find out, you know, about all the businesses in downtown Ringo. Um, they, they work really hard, it's those small businesses do, to promote their self. Um, they have events um, each weekend uh, to try to bring in, you know, local shoppers. 
uh, to support their business and make it, you know, a place that's fun, that you want to come and become a part of. Um, don't forget that we have, you know, a Park Place restaurant, who is our restaurant of the month. Um, I know Jack was doing catering for Thanksgiving. I'm sure he would actually be very happy with a call, phone call to your, do your catering for um, the holidays. Uh, he's been there a long time, and um, I'm sure he's got it down to where he can, you know, uh, fix it to where it was economically, and yeah, it, he he can do it if you just call it him and um, Park Place Restaurant, Restaurant of the Month. Um, Tourism of the Month, Battlefield Escape. That would be um, something to do with a corporate or a Christmas party. Uh, you could go to Jack's and then drive on down on Battlefield Parkway and uh, do your um, party through the Battlefield Escapes and find out what would be, you know, intriguing or uh, answer those questions to get out of the room. Unlock, that's the only way I understand. I've never done it, but I understand that's the only way to get out is you solve all the little riddles. So be sure and take someone with you that can do that. Um, our, and again, Going over our Chamber Nonprofit of the Month, that is Catoosa County Division of Family and Children's Services, and they're located at 700 City Hall Drive, and they are looking for Secret Santa helpers. Uh, give them a call if you would like to help someone, uh, foster child, maybe several, children and a family uh, that's being fostered. That number is 706-866-3755. Again, 706-866-3755. And I'm sure they can use all the help they can get this month. Um, the zoo is doing uh, a promotion through uh, Sunday 12-5. All medical professionals will be provided with complimentary admission for the day with the ability to purchase three additional tickets at 50% off. So that runs from 11-29 through Sunday 12-5. They're one of our chamber members. Um, we do not exclude anyone from the chamber uh, if they live in a different county or they have brick and mortar in a different county. We're happy to have them because we spend money you know, with some of these businesses and they come in doing business in our county and we are happy to have anyone in the surrounding area be a part of our chamber. Um, you know, we found that it works both ways for us. Uh, so if you want to become part of the chamber, you can just give us a call at 706-965-5201. I uh, will be happy to talk to you, or if I'm not there, Amy or Shirley can help you in the office. Um, great way to get connected, get into the community. Um, if you're retired, we even have a way for you to still be connected with uh, Catoosa County Chamber. Just give us a call and we'll talk to you about it. Um, we offer a variety of things. Uh, we haven't done it in, you know, because of COVID, but we've had classes and seminars and various things that uh, we provide to our members. Uh, also, another thing, uh, we have a health plan called Smart Plan, and we also have a uh, drugs don't work program that will cut your workman's comp down. So if you're listening and you're in a business and you just call what I said, call the chamber. I'll be happy to talk to you about that, but it's called drugs don't work. It cuts your uh, 
workman's comp by 7.45% once you become a member of the chamber. And the smart plan insurance uh, is also available in the state of Georgia is, and uh, part of getting enrolled in that program to cut your health insurance cost is being uh, a chamber member. And we have different levels, so, um, and it's our dues um, are good for one year, um, but it'll give you the opportunity to grow your business, network with other people, and be involved in what is happening in the growth of our community. Um, Ringo Kiwanis is needing, or not needing, they're inviting you to join them. Um, they meet every um, Tuesday morning at the Ringo First Baptist Fellowship Hall. They're one of our nonprofit members and they would like to grow their group. They meet at seven o'clock at the Ringo First Baptist Church um, and become part of the Ringo Kiwanis Club. Uh, they do great things, giving out scholarships and, and different projects over the years they've done in helping in our community and helping different organizations, Stocking Full of Love, uh, and the Unity Park that is being built in Ringgold. These are all things that they, you know, uh, contribute to. And uh, we also uh, will say that we do have a Fort Oak Kiwanis that makes at Park Place Restaurant every Friday. So there is two opportunities that you could, you know, join uh, an organization that is very involved in the community. COVID testing. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Colonnade. Um, I think it, it you know, uh, it's a service being provided, I think, by the state of Georgia. So uh, if you're interested, that is at 264 Catusa Circle. Uh, you can get a COVID test. It's not the shot. It is the test. Mondays and Wednesdays, 9 to 6. And... I know the ladies, Kim and Caitlin, were here from the rec department. They told you about Santa coming and what they're going to be doing with some of the events or sign-ups coming up um, in the near future. And if you hadn't been out to Jack Maddox and checked it out, that would be a great thing. Sorry, I had to take another sip of water. Um, just if, you know, going back to what the chamber is and what it does, you know, there's a lot of misconception sometimes of we are not the Better Business Bureau. We do not issue uh, business license, but we're here to support businesses to help figure out how we can connect you with other people in our community and to help organizations grow, uh, you know, whether it be uh, a nonprofit or one of our churches, which are considered nonprofits, but our churches, we have several church mem uh, churches in the area that are members of our chamber. Um, we want to see the community grow. We want to see what you're able to provide um, it, it may not be monetary. Maybe you can, you know, you're, you're an accountant. You can help someone with their accounting. Uh, there's just a lot of opportunities that are available out here, volunteer opportunities. Uh, and if you're a chamber member and you're not involved, I would ask that you contact us and see where we can put you that might help uh, you you know, through your services. But I'm gonna go back to the expo because we're getting closer to out of time and talk about that because that is our biggest event. Again, it is December the 7th, Tuesday. Next Tuesday, not this Tuesday, next Tuesday, December the 7th at 264 Catusa Circle in Ringo. It's from 10 to two. 
You can shop. You can uh, bid on items through the silent auction. We're having lunch uh, from around 11.30 to 1. Uh, when we run out of food, we run out of food. And I will say Provident and Associates, an accounting firm, is sponsoring that. Again, they're on Lafayette Road here in Fort Overthorpe. So if you need somebody to do your taxes, um, they're a great um, group of people. Uh, Providence and Associate is sponsoring the lunch, uh, and it will be catered by Allen's Catering. So come out and enjoy your lunch, shop a little, bet on a silent auction item, network with some maybe some old friends that you haven't seen in a while. Uh, we've got business displays, service ex exhibits, excuse me. And um, I noticed that Roper had signed up, and I'm sure they're probably looking for workers. So there's always that possibility that you might make that one connection that day that would provide you maybe with a route uh, for your financial future. Um, major sponsors again are NHC Healthcare, City of Fort Overthorpe. Ban Corp South and Puckett EMS. Ban Corp South, Puckett EMS, City of Fort Thorpe, NHC are the major sponsors for the Catista Showcase that will be coming up. And we're really excited about it. Since we didn't get to do it last year, this is going to be, you know, a great. Uh, event for us is it'll be a great event to see you know uh, a lot of the businesses that maybe are just now opening up and uh, hopefully uh, we'll, we're inviting the public please come out please bring a box of shred uh, documents uh, coming back from Kona Ice a cup of hot chocolate uh, visit you know one of the health care workers visit one of the uh, dentists or, or chiropractors or uh, eyeglass wear. You know, maybe, maybe you're looking for a new, maybe you're new to the area. This is the opportunity to find that and um, make that connection with our community. Um, we're open, you know, from eight to five, five days a week at the um, Catoosa County Chamber. We welcome you to come in. We have um, information, like I said, um, other places in the state of Georgia that maybe you would like to go visit, or we have local information, and we have also our member information. Uh, we do have brochures from different um, businesses in the area if you're looking and we can always you know direct you to a number if you're in need of a service uh, if we don't know it we'll give you a number that they we're sure that they can help you with that um, we're located on uh, on the Benton campus right off of Battlefield Parkway um, it's a beautiful colonnade if you've never been there maybe it's time to visit Actually, she will be having a booth, um, and she does an amazing job with her booth this year. Uh, one of the things that she did is actually uh, staged a wedding uh, for her booth in 2019, and it was just a really amazing booth. So we look forward to what she's going to come up with this year. Uh, but if you've never been to the colonnade, please visit. There's a theater there. I don't, I don't know if most of you know that. And there's also the opportunities for uh, you to um, rent out space, small space, large space. So uh, take a trip down to the colonnade, visit the chamber, find out you know what we have available for you. And then you can also uh, take a tour of the colonnade and see, you know, the theater or just the building if you're interested in. But it is a beautiful campus over there. If you've never taken the time to stop, you know, 
maybe it's time for the when you come to the expo. Uh, another uh, thing that will be coming up uh, in the first part of the year uh, will be our annual banquet and our gala, but we will be announcing those dates later on. But we stay busy down there. It's a fun job, and we're out and about. And if we, you know, if we see you and we don't recognize you, please come up and introduce yourself. Uh, we enjoy, you know, meeting new people um, and having the opportunity to talk about the chamber. <coughs> Again. I'm Debbie Hughes, the membership coordinator for the Catoosa County Chamber of Commerce. And I'm getting a scratchy throat for some reason today. And don't know why, but I think I've been talking a lot today. Uh, we've been taking a lot of reservations for the uh, women's networking today. And uh, we will try to close that out today because we have just about reached our max with uh, people that can um, make their reservations for to have space for. But we're excited. This is, you know, something different, a comedian that we've, you know, we've never tried that. So we thought we're going to make it fun, end the year on a high note. But um, if you want to, You've got a few minutes, you can call the chamber and talk to Shirley about that. <laughs> She'll take your money too. <laughs> but the luncheon is $15. So, and uh, I haven't found an ugly sweater con uh, sweater yet for the contest. So I, I'm gonna be looking for that in the this afternoon when I leave here. Uh, Cause I don't wanna be left out even though I can't win. I still want to be a part of it. It still would be fun. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I have found with this job is I've met some amazing people. Uh, it's given me the opportunity to learn a lot that, you know, about the county that maybe I didn't know. And it's enabled me to give back to the community that I live in. And um, I'm grateful for that. So, but uh, again, if you've got any questions at any time about what we do, we'll be happy to answer you. Amy is usually the one doing this program, and she took a day off, well deserved. But I'm there at the chamber and out in the community just, you know, um, every day, you know, trying to meet new people, meet new businesses, and see what the needs are, uh, or where we can fill in and where we can help. Again, my um, number is 706-965-5201. Uh, you know, if, if you wanna call and talk and figure out, you know, can I afford to be a chamber member or do I want to be involved? You know, how can I get involved? We'll help you. Um, one of the nice things about being there is we've learned that volunteers are our backbone. And we, like I mentioned before, I have an ambassadors group and they're a great group of people that really work hard to help you know, the businesses in the community and they they love going out to the ribbon cuttings and um, member of the week and different things to meet the business owners. And they're business people, so this helps their business. Um, and it gives them the opportunity to get on the front line and know. So if you're watching this and you've been thinking you know i'm a chamber member but i hadn't really got involved maybe it's the time to do that i think i just 
Okay. <laughs> That's okay. It's about to the end anyway. <laughs> Are through?